Padlet is a great Web 2.0 tool that is completely free and it's easy to share either with a QR code link or as an embed. Uh, and what I'm going to be discussing today is actually the new feature which is called Shelf. So Padlet Shelf simply means that you can create column titles. So as a teacher I can create a digital KWL chart and then when I share it with my students they're not going to see this part that says add a column. They're just going to see these plus signs. And so they can come in at the beginning of the lesson and they can write down what they know, what they want to know, and then at the end of the lesson for closure, they can write down what they've learned about it. And maybe they even go back and be able to adjust some of these want to knows. So the thing I'm going to teach you today is real quickly how to make the shelf in Padlet. So on my Padlet dashboard, I'm just going to press New. And then I'm going to scroll down to where it says Shelf and press Select. And I'm going to just very quickly create um, columns. I'm just typing the title and pressing save and then I'm just going to type in a letter so that way we can do it quickly. Okay, and you'll notice that sometimes it looks a little bit haphazard, like it's not really going in order and I'm not exactly sure what the reason um, for that is, but you do have to press save. Um, but it's very easy um, if it ever comes out of order just to change it by clicking, dragging, and dropping. So sometimes when I'm adding in columns, it goes off. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I'm able to go and I'm able to share that however I would like. Um, so I can also rename it, change my description, change my wallpaper, all the good things that you can always do with Padlet. Um, but this is just a way of creating those column headers. So here's a real quick idea for you. So this one with the idea I have was, oh, if my students are about to analyze tone, what they need to do is really grab diction imagery and syntax. And with an iPhone, all I had did was take a little screenshot of the text, and then I used annotation tools in my iPhone to quickly um, annotate the parts that I wanted to annotate. And I was able to upload those. You can say I say dashes, but choppy and erratic by merely going and pressing the little camera down here. So you can put in audio files, video files, attachments, and images. And Palette is very open to all those different things. And it's a great way of collecting um, a resource for the entire class to then either further look back upon it or to then be used as a tool within analysis. And that right there is Padlet Shelves.